All right, hey everybody. Um, I'm back. I saw Firehell Pack. I got an update to make some new brushes, so I was messing around with it, if you can't tell. It comes with a default brush, which is the Fire Alpaca. Other than that, I'm about to show you how to make a brush. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is next to the um, new brush and the copy, uh, in between the new brush and the copy brush, there's a new little icon. That is how you're going to make your new brush, but you can't just click on it and hope to make a new brush because you actually have to draw out your new brush. Um, so I made an example brush here. It's a splatter brush, as poorly as it is. It's on a 100 by 100 pixel uh, image. And I draw it in black because it just works, makes more sense. Pick a side. <laughs> um, so the next thing you have to do is you have to save the image. Um, saving, yeah, we all know how to do it. Save as, where are you going to save it? What kind of file do you want? There's two kinds of file that they will give you. And that, <clears throat> actually there's a lot of styles it will give you to save as. But you're going to only want to save it as a uh, .png. Um, you can't save it as the brush itself. It will not open in the new brush. You have to save it as this image. It, I don't know why. Um, it makes sense to save it as a brush, but oh well, it works. It'll still give you the same quality. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to click on that little button right there. I'm showing you the image again. Um, and once you do that, a few things may happen. I know with my computer, um, it might be different from yours. So hopefully Fire Alpaca carries through with Windows. So when you click on it, the whole open screen will open up and you're going to click on what... <laughs> I just realized I spelled splat wrong. Oh well. Well, you're going to want to click on the whatever brush you just saved. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um, <laughs> so you're going to get to open your edit brush. It'll give you, it gives me this right away as soon as I click on it. So, I don't even think I spelled it right when I was fixing it. Oh well. But yeah, so you're going to be able to mess around with your brush a bit. This is some of the stuff you can do. You can space it, rotate it as you're drawing so it'll follow your tablet or your uh, mouse. You can have a random rotate where it doesn't matter if you're drawing a straight line or not, it'll rotate. And you can apply or not apply the foreground color. I usually apply the foreground color just because I like coloring. So this is without the rotate, and um, I wish I kind of spaced that out a bit before I unclicked that. But um, if you can tell from the image before, it all faces the same way. So the, no matter where the brush goes, it'll always be right up. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is with the random rotate, and as you see, it spins a bit. You can't really tell with the splatter because it's kind of... Kind of um, it just, it all looks the same all the way around. But um, I did space this one because it looks better and you could actually tell that I spaced it. Other than that, I really didn't do much. Um, so now we have our new brush. Once you press the save button. Nope, I didn't spell it right when I fixed it. Well, <laughs> I'll do that when I'm uh, done with this video. But, so now you got a new brush. It'll be with a little yellow square if you can't tell. Well, other than that, thanks for listening. I know Fire Alpaca got a new update with the soft edge on the eraser, but I figure that's easy enough to figure out. You click the soft edge button when you have the eraser. Not the tool with the pen, but the actual eraser up. You just click soft edge and you have a soft edge on your eraser. Well, thanks for watching.